But it's not, it's not looking great. Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Yes I know, it's been a couple weeks but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now I am not where I usually am. Right now I'm in a completely different part of Virginia and that's because two days ago one of my best friends, Russell, called me and he's like, hey man, we kind of need a lead guitarist for this, uh, for this concert coming up on Saturday. Can you do it? And so I basically dropped everything and here I am. Since so around 10 o'clock in the morning right now and I actually arrived about midnight last night and uh, let me tell you why that's important. Well, that's important because I have anywhere from 10 to 27 songs I need to learn by tomorrow. Now, as of speaking right now, I did practice on Wednesday night and I was able to actually get about four, four and a half of the songs down, so that's obviously great news. It's Cole from the Future Her and oh, how I was wrong. I did not have four to five songs down, though I thought I did. Now, you may be wondering, hey Cole, how are you gonna be able to get all the songs down? And honestly, I'm wondering the exact same thing. On the upside, this is a country concert and a lot of these country songs are pretty easy to play. For example, the song Wagon Wheel took me about a minute to learn. And this morning I learned about 70%-ish of uh, Sweet Home Alabama and that's probably gonna be one of the harder songs we're gonna play, so I'm not super, super worried about it because I do have all day to practice today because the concert is tomorrow at five. And the house I am staying at right now is the home of one of the people who is in the band and right now everybody's at work so I have all day to practice by myself and get as many of these songs down as I possibly can before they come back from work and we practice as a group. But before that, I didn't have dinner last night and I'm really hungry so let me go get some breakfast. And that leads us to another problem. I have no idea where we are and I have no idea what's around. But good thing phones exist. I'm actually pretty excited to try something new in terms of food. Maybe there's a nice local diner or a cool restaurant I've never been to. I got McDonald's. Currently setting up the spark, and uh, now that I'm all fueled up from that McDonald's coffee, it's practice time. Charleston girl, the dark and brown, and you don't know her like I do. Forgot the capo. Let's try that again. <laughs> So right now, let me check, it is about 4.30, so that means I've been playing for several hours um, here alone, and uh, I've definitely gotten the songs that I've already known I'll pretty much, for the most part, down-packed, but there are so many more I have to learn. Um, I, I, do I feel good about the songs I have learned? Yes. Um, but I think I've pretty much done as, almost as much as I can probably alone right now without the rest of the band members to kind of show me like what songs we're gonna do and whatnot. Because again, like this is very last minute for me. I don't really know any of the songs we're playing, so this is all new to me. But it's gonna be okay. Is it stressful? Yeah, absolutely. Am I putting too much pressure on myself? Yeah, probably. But that's because I'm critical of my work. I want to do really well, and I hope this goes well, obviously, because I'm, I'm stressing myself out. Ooh, there's a bird. Also, the house I'm staying in, right now I'm alone in it, and I've just been, like I said, just been playing guitar and practicing all day, and I keep hearing, like, random creaks and, like, cracks and, like, noises, and it sounds like doors are opening. I know they're not, because I've, every time it happens, I pace the house, just, you know, make sure nobody's home, you know, I guess I'm in, I'm in charge of this place while nobody else is here, but it's terrifying, and I think there's, I think there's several ghosts that live in here, so, yeah, so St. Michael, Archangel, help me out. So I guess all I really can do for the moment until the other band members show up, which it should be in, you know, around an hour or so, is I guess just keep learning new songs. You know, there are, I'll show you the set list. There's a lot of songs that I still have to learn. I've only learned like five, maybe six of them. Look there, there's a picture of the spreadsheet of all of the songs we're going to be playing and what key they're in, who they're by and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, there's 28 on this list and I've learned like four or five. So, uh, yeah, that's going to suck. And the performance is in 24 and a half hours, so let's get cooking. Also, something I've learned as of today is that Sweet Home Alabama, which is a song that every guitar player should know, and just happens to be one of those songs I never learned, it's a super fun song to play. Let me get a tripod real quick. All right, there we go. <laughs> Of course I messed it up as soon as I press record, because why, why wouldn't I? I've been practicing it all day for hours, and of course I messed it up as soon as I press record. Why is that? I love that lick there. 
And after that, it just goes right back to the main verse. And once again, it gets in like the main verses, instead of playing the individual picking strings, you kind of just play the chords. So instead of, you're playing. And that's super cool. So this song is very fun to play. If you haven't learned it already, go ahead and do it. But that's what I've been doing pretty much all day. That part's not particularly easy. That's probably the part I've been struggling the most with. Um, just because it moves around a little bit more than I'm used to. But, uh, you know, as I keep practicing it, it'll get better and better and better by tomorrow. Let's move on to another song. Good morning, everybody. So yesterday, all I did was play guitar. And I went to Taco Bell. That happened too. But I probably sat my hands a guitar for about eight to nine hours, pretty much almost straight yesterday. So uh, that's a lot of playing. I didn't record any of the... Uh, you know, the, the more of the full band practice, it's mostly just me, the singer, and one of the other guitarists because, you know, just had to focus. There was so much I had to learn in such a short amount of time, so, but, uh, it's not looking great so far, and I won't lie. It's looking better than it was at the start of that, uh, that little practice, but there's just too much stuff I had to learn for too many songs, because, I mean, as you guys know, I don't, country's not really my thing. I play rock, I play metal, so this is... This is a big jump for me in terms of just stuff I've never done before. Thankfully, country is not the hardest, but it's still something I'm very unfamiliar with. It's still a lot of stuff I have to learn in a short amount of time. But it's not, it's not looking great. So basically what I ended up doing is, I'm not gonna play every song, uh, which I think is for the best. I'm only gonna play probably about five to eight songs um, that have more electric guitar focused stuff that's more similar-ish, the style of stuff I'm playing. It's still enough to where I'm learning and growing as a musician. Um, but it's enough to where I'm going to add something to the uh, to the, the sound of the band or whatever. Um, but I'm not going to make it sound goofy by you know doing stuff that I don't know how to do. Had I have had a week to know that I was going to do this, it'd go a hundred times better. But just only having three days to learn all these songs is just not really realistic. Uh, so it's for the best. However, I've been playing a lot and practicing a lot of the stuff that I am going to be playing. So. I think so far for that kind of stuff, I think it's going to go pretty well. But it is 9.30 in the morning. The show is at 6. So I said 5 earlier, but I think I think we start after another band. So yeah, let's go get some food and start practicing again. Breakfast has been acquired. a guy of the name of Shiloh Wilbanks. So right now he's just playing a couple opening songs that way you can just kind of continue to get warmed up and whatnot. But Shiloh has 
a really cool story. Now, from what I understand, he got a record deal at the age of 19, but then just some things in his life kind of didn't go according to plan, and here he is now, about, I'm uh, probably going to guess about 15 years later, and he's back at it. So his music is really, really good, and I'm actually looking forward to see what he does with the rest of his musical career. I'll link his stuff down in the description below. Go ahead and check him out, because support, because he's really good. <laughs> Oh my god. Why is my grill on fire? <laughs> All of you guys know this song. Yeah. Our lead guitarist is hopping back on for this. My car is packed to the brim and two guitars barely fit in this tiny little thing. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is the next morning as you guys can see and uh, my car, like I just said, is packed to the brim and I'm on my way back to campus. I would have loved to film this section outside but currently it's like crazy windy out so you guys wouldn't even be able to hear me so that's why we're inside my little car. Yesterday was a very fun night and did it go well? Yeah, absolutely. I honestly think it was the best um, and I don't, I don't see a way that we could have done what originally the plan was where I was just gonna learn all the songs. Shh. So I think the songs that did play on, I think I added something to it and I think, I really think it went well. So I'm, I'm very glad for that. But hey, I've got about a five hour long car drive back to my campus. I'll see you guys when I'm there. And on the drive back from the concert, for the first time in a really long time, I truly felt happy. Now I'm not trying to say I'm normally like a depressed or anything like that, but for whatever reason, I was just extra happy. Yeah, I'll be the first to admit, it was pretty stressful those couple days leading up to the concert. Especially after that first night, whenever we had like that first kind of group practice, I was really stressed out because I was a lot further behind than I actually thought I was. Like when I said I thought I had four or five of the songs down, I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close. But in the end, it ended up going pretty dang well. And on that pretty long drive home, I had the windows down the entire time, it was a gorgeous day. And the entire time I was thinking, man, you know, though I'm mostly a metal musician, this is what country is about. Driving with the windows down, with the hair in your wind, hair in your wind, wind in your hair, and just being happy. Though I won't lie, I did actually have to put on some metal music just because I need a little break from the country because it's all I listen to for like four days straight. But what did I learn from this whole experience? If you guys have watched my channel before, you guys know that I love to take every opportunity I can to play live. Whether that be playing at a talent show or playing the national anthem for my school, any chance I get to play live, I'm gonna take because for me, my schedule right now, it doesn't come up very often, so I really take the time to try and do that. And I also knew that country wasn't my thing. So whenever I got the call from Russell that I had the chance to be able to do this, 
I knew it was going to be a good experience and a great learning experience. And like I said 30 times before, country's not exactly my thing. I like country, I like listening to country, but playing it is never something I've ever really done before. So forcing myself way out of my comfort zone has allowed me to improve as a musician quite a lot in just the span of a couple days. And so for that, I really, really want to thank Back Sydney Band for the opportunity to be able to fill in for their lead guitar role for that little show. It was a lot less stressful than I thought it was going to be once I was actually out there because I didn't know exactly what to expect. I didn't know if it was going to be a stage. I didn't know what it was going to be. It was just, and it was just a you know a backyard like a frat party, and which was great. I think that was the perfect kind of environment for like the least stress possible, I guess. Because it's just a bunch of, you know, college kids having a good time and, you know, it's, that's what we are too. So, I think it was a very welcoming environment as well. But again, I want to thank the Back City Band along with Russell and everybody else who gave me the opportunity to be able to play with them. And I would absolutely love to play with you guys again. And we actually talked about it one-on-one. -on -one, and so we've kind of agreed that, like, hey, maybe later on the line there's an opportunity. And especially an opportunity where I have a little bit more time to be able to get the songs down. That they said they would love to have me back and I would love to go back and, you know, kind of do even better than I did before, even because I definitely didn't do as well as I could have um, with the time given. But again, the moral of the story is take every opportunity you can to play live, even if it's going to push you out of your comfort zone a lot. Like I said, that first day, day and a half was very stressful, but we ended up figuring it out and I think it turned out pretty well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record every song. Uh, the first couple songs I did play on, my battery died for, and I wasn't able to leave this, leave the stage, uh, leave the area that we were playing to go change the battery or anything like that, so missed out on a couple songs, but it's all right. If you guys want, you can go ahead and check out the Back Sydney Band's Instagram right up there, and if you guys want, feel free to check them out in live in person. Um, I know they post the dates and whenever they perform and where they perform, uh, whenever they do so. But yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you guys liked it, feel free to click like, and if you loved it and you want to see more content from me, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you're still here, this is a new camera, so I hope you guys enjoy the quality. The lens isn't quite as wide as my other camera, which I don't love exactly, but it's fine. So, thank you guys.